semi-agitated leach tank. This pipe goes all the way down to right here. And we are shooting liquid fluid in from the bottom up this pipe. The sand in the, the ore in the liquid is raining down and collecting at the bottom of the pipe. And the fluid is catching it and blowing it up the pipe and then back out. So it's uh, taking it off the bottom and putting it back on top. This is not a non-glue joint on purpose. It is the pump is sucking vacuuming water and liquid off out of the tank going down around the green hose on the roof on purpose and back up. The reason this isn't glued is so that a little bit of air will seep in and go down. The pump will shred the air, bring it back to the top. And right now we've got uh, soap in it and you can see that there are air bubbles in the liquid that are creating foam. The leech needs to have oxygen in it. And we're going to do two ways to do it. We're going to use our sodium bicarbonate and air. We use two ways to get air oxygen into the leech. We're not using cyanide, we're using Eco Goldex, which is a cousin of cyanide but much safer. Some people say you can make cyanide from eco gold X, but I believe they have made it so that you can't. Um, environmentally safe, if it is used as fertilizer. We have a belt that goes insanely high for our purposes since this is a plastic tank. We have to keep this belt dialed down. Uh, we're trying to get it up to about 120 degrees. Our tests say 120 degrees with Eco Gold X works great. So this this will get it up to 300, but not in a plastic tank. So if you're only going up to 120. If you go higher than 140 or 50, you're going to drive the oxygen out of the leach, and you have to have the oxygen to make it work.